Well, good day, Tubes. How is she going? Pretty good here. So what you're looking at here is the uh, rebuild kit. Hopefully a uh, standard sized rebuild kit for the Ford 800. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess tear it all down again. Ah, just uh, still burning that oil and I think it's probably to do with the rings and you know those uh, sleeves that weren't in really too good a shape. So it's time to, I guess to refresh that up. I could Probably just get away with doing rings, but we gotta tear it all apart anyways. Pull all the pistons out, and um, I've got new uh, rod bearings too for it. I did get new crankshaft bearings too, but I might not go that far with it. I don't know. We'll have to look and see how it is when we get in there. But anyways, we're gonna crack this box open here and have a look inside. See what we got. Well, this was uh, an exceptionally expensive box for parts. And I had to order it from Fix That Ford. Nowhere else seemed to have like a complete kit for it here. So it's actually Gen Sales, but um, it's Fix That Ford is the where you'd order it from. Okay, so this should be a complete rebuild kit. Gen sales ink, no scrims and me how's life will come to damage to machines component affected by a part failure or labor, so if something blows up, it's not their fault. Well it's your parts I'm using. Submit your picture today. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, okay, well we got a whole bunch of free paper. That's nice. Now it's gonna be parts in here too that I am not gonna need. Like for instance. The valve springs, that's all brand new in there. We put that whole new head on, new springs, new valves, everything, so I won't need them. That's probably all right. Um, ooh. I'm not 100 president sure piston pin bushing. Oh, okay. So the wrist pin goes through the piston. One side of the other clip on either side, that goes through, I guess. So that goes right on the through the wrist pin and then into the piston, I guess. A little closer look at all this stuff after here. Oh, there's a heavy piece. So there's more valve guides. I won't need those either, thank goodness. Nice new set of valves for it. Won't need those either. So well, that's good. We got them in stock, anyways. Um, we'll just pull all these little boxes out of here and we'll have a look at them all. Intake valve. So what the heck? Okay. That says intake valve on it. Well, let's just pull all these out of here. Intake valve. Interesting, but there's... So these must be all exhaust valves. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. So this comes with pistons and everything. There's the... Gasket kit, I believe. I'll look at that too after here. Running out of room. Uh oh. And this will be the sleeve kit. So there's going to be four of these. We're not going to look at all these. It'll be all the same. So that should have the piston, the, the sleeve, the rings, and a nice sticker. Gen sales. All right. Let's push that aside and we'll have a look in these boxes here. Well, first of all, let's check this one out. Oh, there's the rod bearings. No, I ordered, um... They see, they see the uh, crankshaft bearings, I believe. I believe so. Should say... Yeah, main bearing standard. Okay. And these should be the rod bearings. Yes. Boy, not much to them, is there? Hmm. They're really soft probably though, I don't really know, but I've never really done this myself. I've had little engines apart, small stuff, but not big stuff, so okay. I don't know if I should do these or not. It's interesting, there's little nicks out of them here, I guess, to let the oil through. Maybe, I don't know what that is, but hopefully they're all right. Okay, so that's what these are, these will be all 
rod bearings like these. I imagine they're all the same. These ones are sealed. This one's not. Maybe they just check and make sure that they're actually in there. Yeah, STD is standard, so hopefully this engine is still all standard. That I don't know. I guess we'll find that out when we get into it. Okay. So bearings. That was bearings, I think, too, right? Yeah. I mean, rod bearings. We'll put those all together, and that's good. I had to order those separately, though. Those didn't come in this kit. I just thought, oh, I'm in there. I might as well do them anyway. So these are probably all sealed up. This one doesn't look like it is. And this should be the intake valves, and I don't really know why they package them differently, but okay. Intake valve, so I won't need these either, which is good. Hopefully. <laughs> no, they should be fine. So that's valve, so I won't need those. They, they come in the kit. Now this is what I was after looking. Um, not returnable if seal broken. Well, we're gonna break a seal here. And some of those sleeves were re-glued back in, if you remember way back. We used that seal retaining stuff. Now, what does this say? States on instructions for fac pack cylinder kit assembly. Important. Pistons have been installed in the cylinder liners to reduce possibility of the piston rings damaged during shipping. Okay. After inst installation, new piston rings and cylinder liners parts must be broke in to ensure proper seal between the piston rings and the cylinder liners. Failure to properly achieve this seal will result in poor operation and void the warranty. Engine assembly. Prior, wait, bug. Prior to assembly... I'll thoroughly inspect parts to ensure that they are clean, free of defects, and correct for your application. Install parts, assemble engine according to procedure specified. Original equipment uh, manufacturer service manual. Engine break-in. Use of a diamondometer is recommended for initial run of the engine, which I don't have. Um, after overhaul, a diamondometer is not available. Run-in may be performed under controlled operations. Can according to the original equipment manufacturer recommendations. Consult your original equipment manufacturer service manual for recommendations and proper uh, viscosity and top oil to be used during uh, and after the break in period. Approximate time one minute, no load, low idle RPM. So you just start up, let it run. Um, two minutes, you do no load, high idle, so just rev it up a bit. For five minutes, you run at 50% engine load. I don't know, I guess driving it around maybe. 2,000 rated speed. I'll just scream and then. 10, I think if you just start up and let it run a bit, it'll be fine. But two minutes, no load for 15. Okay, during the engine run in procedure, ensure that the normal operating temperatures and pressures are maintained in all systems. If any leaks, air, air or fluid leaks, uh, normal engine noises or gauge readings outside the normal range should be investigated and correctly immediate, correct, corrected immediately. Ensure the crankcase ventilation is within recommended rates prior to shutting down the engine. After the engine run-in procedure is complete, stop the engine and closely inspect for any leaks or loose fasteners and correct as necessary. Make uh, any posts... Make any post run in adjustments as required by the manufacturer. Do not allow the engine to idle for more than five minutes or operate for extended periods of time with little or no load during the first hundred hours of overhaul. Hmm. Interesting. Check the fluid levels more frequently during the first hundred hours. Hundred hours, that's a long time. Holy smoke. Uh, after overhaul, oil should be. Oil and oil filter should be changed after every. F for the first hundred hours operation. Okay. So that's straight as forward as a mud puddle. Anyways, what do we got in here? Nice little cap thing. Ooh, it's all sealed in the bag even. Isn't that nice? It's all oiled up and everything in there. I'm not really too sure if I really want to open this thing yet. It is pretty oily in there. Let's keep it from going bad, I guess. We'll see if we can just open up the one side here, maybe. Oh, I opened up the two sides. Oh, that's really oily in there. 
really, really oily in there. Okay. Oh, that looks a lot nicer. Now, I'm not too sure what... I think that split is supposed to go... Well, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look in the manual. A little notch there, right? I think that faces forwards. Or it could face... I don't know. I'll have to look. Now, can I flip this around in the bag? I want to see the other side of the piston. I don't really want to touch it just with my fingers, but... Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. That's nice. So, I'm going to have to uh, do a whole pile of disassembly to get in there to get these things out. Of course, so that's going to make her fun. Fun, fun. All right. Well, that's good. Some of these parts we don't need, but you can buy just that assembly, but it's like $350 each. I couldn't believe it. You can buy this whole kit, it was like 500 and something. So it's like, well, why wouldn't you just buy the whole kit and get all these other parts that you know I mostly don't need? These we will need though. So we'll put those up there. These we won't need, so we'll put those over here. And uh, these we will need. Those up there, and this is the gasket kit here. I wanted to have a look at too, so we'll have to regasket everything again, of course. Um, the only reason I want to do this, and I should have done it when I had this stupid thing apart, uh, I thought it was valve guides, but apparently not. It's still burning oil like crazy, so we'll uh, tear it apart and do a cylinder sleeve and piston ring, piston rebuild to do the whole thing. Same rods, we use the same rods. Everything else should be good. It's all been changed anyway. It's upside down. Well, there's some keepers too for the valves that we're not going to need. Valve keepers, and so that's good. We don't need them. Put those together maybe too. So there's the gaskets. There's a complete gasket here. You even have the, you know, the everything. Mains and everything. Head gasket, oil pan gasket, rocker cover gasket. I'll take all that off again. Oh man, I got so much work to take apart here. But anyways, just wanted to show you that. That is the main kit. Hopefully you got a sight of that on there. Yeah, I think you did. It's kind of hard to see all the plastic and stuff on it. But anyways, there we go. So yeah, these parts over here we're not going to need. The keepers and stuff in the springs. But it's good to have them in stock. And maybe we can sell them back off too, you know, someone else might need these parts, so. But, uh, there we go. Okay, that's it for now. I just wanted to show you this kit that we got in. And, uh, piston looks pretty cool in there. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of work to do, though. But anyways, that's it for today. Just a quickie for you. We'll catch you all later. Thanks again for watching. And, uh, more engine parts coming here. Oh, man. Put this back together.